Uh, it was a little disappointing to see um, what our final record was at the end of the season. Um, but it's difficult to be in the top of your conference every single year. Um, we were fortunate enough for the past four years to be in contention for MAC championships and Mackey's titles. And um, it's just one of those things in sports that every every team has their down year once in a while. But uh, we're looking forward to next year, and I think we'll have a, a good season. We'll bounce, bounce back pretty well. Why do you think that? We have a lot of guys coming back. We had a, a young quarterback at um, probably about eight or nine starts this, this season. So we got uh, – a lot of our young receivers as well are coming back and a lot of guys on defense. So I think that with the first year under their new system and uh, a lot more confidence with good playing time from last season, that uh, this winter we'll have a really good season or a really good conditioning season and then in the summer do well training and then kind of hit the ground running in August for training camp. And so having that year under their belt will, will help a lot with their confidence. And for you, this is the biggest year of your football life and your biggest year of your life. This is your senior year. It's hard to believe that it's going to be your senior year at BG. Uh, is that blow your mind in itself? Uh, it's weird to say that I only have one season left. When you start playing football down there, you have five years, and so you think it'll it'll go by slow. But I remember my first summer, my first camp, my first season, just like it was yesterday. And, and to already be in, on my fifth season, it's, it's kind of surreal almost. And... I'm just excited to have one last go around with all the seniors and all the guys that have been there for five years, and we're just really excited for the season. You're trying to make a name for yourself to get recognized by NFL scouts and, and, and get drafted. That was your goal. I remember you telling me that two or three years ago, and I'm sure that hasn't changed. Yeah, this, the goal is still to uh, try to play professionally at any level I can, either NFL or CFL. Um, so we're just, look, I'm ready for the season, ready to get going, and uh, it's a pretty big season for all of us in general, not just, not just the seniors, so we're looking forward to it. And finally, besides the 800 pictures of you and your girlfriend on your Facebook page, <laughs> there's also a picture of you with a bunch of, I guess, law students. What's yeah. that about? Uh, it was for our constitutional law class. Instead of writing a, a traditional final that you would with like multiple choice and essays and stuff like that, we did a Supreme Court simulation. And so we had, uh, you, you could volunteer to either be a judge or an attorney. And I got the position of a judge. And so there was it was a nine justice court just like it would be in the Supreme Court of the United States. And uh, we heard the case of Morales Santana versus Lynch, which was a pending case in the Supreme Court. And so we got to hear facts and, and issues from both sides, and then we got to make our final decision. And then we had to write kind of what they call an opinion of the court. So after we made our decision, we have to explain why we ruled the way we did.